Okay, so part two. Um, we played against the Twitch guys, okay? So there's something you should know. They had some time to practice on this game. They were serious, okay? And we did our little interview, me and TV, we did an interview, and then we saw them come out and they did this hilarious wrestling promo, way better than ours. Like, we didn't know, I wanted to run back up there. We wanted to run back up there and do one of our own, but we had to get the match started. So I'm gonna show you their badass, hilarious promo. Guys from Twitch are so cool. Um, and they were serious about the game, and they're gamers, so they know how to play, and it made it competitive. But, <clears throat> there were some technical difficulties. Now, this, I'm gonna show you uh, the fifth and sixth matches, which are the finals. Now, because we had dropped one of the matches early, because we were going four versus five, we lost one of them um, in that four versus five game, uh, they were doing a round robin system where you earn points. Like if you win both of them, you get three points. If you draw, I think you get one point. If you lose, you get zero points. And so because we had dropped one, we I, I we and won one, we got one point. While Twitch won both of theirs uh, against another team, so they got three points. So by the time we met here in the finals, they were already ahead to where we had to win both matches in order to uh, win the tournament. And uh, the very first match that we win, and you'll see, it's, I'm gonna show it here in just a second, um, there's a point where I score so much, I found a bug in the game, I score so much damage with a lance that if you do like more than 255 uh, armor piercing damage, uh, that the game freezes and crashes. So my client crashed and I wasn't playing in that match for like three minutes. And you'll see that my team kind of runs back and tries to regroup and we're not in the battle for a little bit, waiting, trying to wait for me to uh, to get back in the game. But eventually they're saying, oh, we gotta, we gotta get out there because we're behind one or two kills. It was a really, really close match. I think you guys are gonna like it. So we tried to do you guys proud. I won't spoil the results. I think uh, we did pretty well, uh, you know, barring some technical difficulties. It was a very uh, early version of the game, and I'm not faulting uh, the game itself, War of the Roses, for this. It was an alpha build, so there's a few bugs in there and a few disconnects that uh, that were, you know, kind of made it to where, you know, it's like, oh man, you know, I, I wanted to play again, which is a good thing. Like. After I went to bed that night, I was so pissed off, like I just needed to play more War of the Roses. So it's gonna be pretty fun, guys. And it only comes out for $30, which is badass. So uh, check it out. The badass promo from the Twitch TV guys and the final two matches of the tournament with the, uh, the ending ceremony. I hope you guys enjoy. U.S. War of the Roses tournament and uh, we have a very special interview here as we have Jared and John from the Golden Griffins. Let us hold on just a minute there, Mean Gene. It doesn't matter who you put in front of Twitch TV, whether it's Paradox or it's Total Biscuit, you are looking at two of the finest horsemen right here. In fact, Twitch TV has four of the best horsemen. Now, Total Biscuit's trying to put hard times on the back of Twitch TV. Total Biscuit doesn't know what hard times is, daddy. Hard times is when the automotive workers of America are told that they got to kick out the butt after 30 years of service. <laughs> and they're saying a robot is replacing your job, daddy. That's hard times. You tell them, John Carnage. <laughs> <sighs> I eat biscuits at Popeyes. <laughs> I eat biscuits at KFC. I've seen it, daddy. I even eat biscuits at Red Lobster with a little cheese on it. And I'm going to eat that total biscuit. Oh, man, it's going to feel so good. You say that the rivers will be red with the blood that drips from my veins? No, buddy. The rivers are going to be drenched with little crumbs from your body. That's what I'm talking about, Dad. Because when you're good, you're good. When you're great, you're twitch. That's right, four. Nice. Let's go, Let's go. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Real quick. Real quick. Mean Gene Golden Boy, I want you to give this to Total Biscuit. <laughs> it's a tea bag. Oh, what a switch. <laughs> uh, that was good. That was really good. I, um, I have a tea bag in my hand, and I truly, you know, it's herbal. Um, it's. <laughs> Wow. 
<laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Here's the tea bag. Give that to, to Total Biscuit so he can deliver that again. Uh, <laughs> that was great. We're going to have Gordon come back here now. Yeah, but for now, we're just going to enjoy it because, I mean, it is kind of a cool thing to see. But I think, uh, I think definitely we need to work on that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, like you said, it, it, it's all a work in progress, to be honest with you. And there's nothing really wrong with that. And uh, and I think a lot of people at home and all this stuff really appreciate the work that you guys have put into the game thus far. And, of course, as always, there's more to be done because this is not the final build. This is still Correct. very much yeah. the uh, the early stages of this game. And, and I said it once, I'll say it again. At the early stages, this looks amazing. And it's very fun to play, uh, you know, speaking from personal experience. So what we have going on right here is the score is going to be 10 to 9. Twitch TV is still going to be up in the count here. Um, it seems like, right? Twitch TV will be up or... Uh, yeah. yeah, Twitch TV will be up. And now it's going to be tied. c has just got a kill there on John as he is going to go down. And you can see as the... Um Excuse me, the Twitch TV staff, they're doing the same exact strategy as the Red Herring uh, squad, the YouTubers, as I was so rightfully bashed on the chat for. Um, <laughs> I always like to acknowledge the chat. You know, they're, 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 they're entertaining us, so that's pretty awesome. Um, and, and in case you guys are wondering, there is, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the chat right now. There is no spectator mode. Um, there, uh, you know, there could be one. I don't know. Um, but with that said, though, uh, you know, this is a brand new game. So brand new. Yeah. So yeah. basically, when you're developing a game, you you have to pick what's the most important. And making the game really, really good it was our first priority. And we're a really small team. There's 13 of us on this team. We're not a big, huge, giant publisher. We're not a giant studio. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, we're the small guy. We're the little guy, and we're trying to make a really big game. Exactly. Uh, and so you have to be really smart about it. And you know, we've picked some core things that we want to focus on. And I believe, I feel personally, that we've done extremely well with that. And I think people are going to really have a lot of fun with the game. And then, you know, being that we're on PC. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Paradox Four U.S. War of the Roses tournament. Golden Boy of TW here with Gordon Van Dyke. One of the guys from Paradox Interactive here showing off the game before you find people at home. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, this is going to be the match of the ages, folks, as it is going to be the Golden Griffins versus the Ordinary Squad. Now, uh, you guys are curious as to who the teams are. Well, the Golden Griffins team, that is going to be the Twitch TV staff. They're currently going to be up six to four in the points to the red herring squad and uh twitch tv staff consists of i believe it's going to be john carnage and jared with jared ray which you just saw them up here cutting by far one of the greatest promos ever as well as um the uh, uh ernest lee uh fuzzy outer balls and uh and twitch tv john so that is going to be that team and then on the red herring squad you're going to have angry joe Dean anners total biscuit uh dan din and the shark from Destructoid, Destructoid Shark. So that is going to be the matchup, folks. And we have the game underway going on right here, right now, as this is going to be one very intense matchup. And the winner of this is going to be the overall winner, period. Um, I was speaking with the guys from Twitch TV earlier. They said that if they win, they're going to donate to Child Play. Um, and if the uh, Red Cross guys, or excuse me, if uh, Red the red herring team wins they are going to donate to the red cross as you heard in the interview so um you know pretty awesome nonetheless and with that said though we have 12 minutes and 29 seconds on the clock here as this is going to be game number one and the score is currently going to be uh the twitch tv staff is going to be up in the count here if i'm correct uh it seems like they had gotten more kills yes they're going to be up in the count right now six to five as uh, it seems like, oh, never mind. It's going to be 7 to 5 now as Ernest Lee just got a kill there. And it seems like both teams are running a similar strat, Gordon. Um, so sorry I was talking so much. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so it seems like uh, they're running a similar strat of uh, running horses back and forth and uh, with the lances. What do you think about that? Um, I, I think uh, what you can clearly see, I mean, this game still has some uh, fine tuning to be done. The lances clearly uh, have become a, a favorite of the people in the tournament. And so. Yeah. I mean, that's something that we're going to have to look at, and we're on Steam. You yeah. know, we can put out updates, and we will keep working on this game even uh, after launch. So yeah. um, you know, this game is going to get uh, bigger. It's going to get better, and we, we want to keep supporting it. And uh, you know, we want to just really make our community thrive. I don't know if some people might have seen my comments about DLC uh, and know that we are going to be doing something really, really clever with that and adding additional content in a smart way and rewarding all of our players. We want people that play the game a lot 
to get something for that because their time, you know, time is money in essence. And we want to reward the players that, you know, play our game a lot as well, not just those who give us money because it's a multiplayer game. And without them, without the yeah. guys playing our game, our game doesn't exist. Yeah, of course, of course. And, uh, you know, once again, if you guys want to sign up for the beta, you can go right to the bottom of the stream there to sign up for the beta. And uh, you could, you know, like I said, sign up and join in on the fun because this game's really good. Uh, with that said, though, uh, we have the action going on in front oh, of really you at quick, this current time. Oh, go really ahead, Gordon. Really quick, the, the website, you guys crashed the website. Oh, you guys crashed the website. They, they crashed okay. the website uh, signing up for the beta, so we're getting that back up as quickly as possible. Um, you know, so hopefully those who can't get in right now, uh, hopefully they remember and keep checking back. And uh, So hopefully it gets up really soon and we can get uh, get everybody signed up so they can participate. All right, and what you see in front of you right now is that we basically we're running around the field as a clearly identified character that is not in the action we're looking at what's going on in front of us um so if you see in front of us you can see a lot of the guys from the uh from the excuse me from the youtube squad or the red herring squad they're going to be the ones you know kind of like Okay, guys, I'm going to reduce the audio here a little bit and uh, provide you some commentary. So this is an extremely close match. As you can see, it's very close. The Twitch guys uh, picked up on our strategy. They said, you know what, we're, they're, they copied us. They straight out copied us. They said, okay, we're going to do the horses. They're going to do the horses, and we're going to go mano y mano. And it was a ton of fun. In fact, I think they actually even had a crossbow guy there uh, shooting us off the horses as well. So incredibly smart. Uh, those guys uh, were fucking awesome gamers and we did not expect it but they they had a lot of practice or they, they they really took it seriously as you can see from the promo those guys were hilarious um, but I did want to show you the point uh, right in in the middle of the game where you'll see in fact actually right here where it scrolls across the different screens so you'll see that uh, at that point Right, that point right there. So we charged each other. Uh, I had my lance down, and I scored the kill right there. And because I, I did more than 255 points worth of damage there, it crashed the game. If you do 255 more than that, it, it was a bug, a uh, piercing damage. My whole machine, like, it froze up. So I was like, freak. And, you know, I was, I was screaming out, calling out. So, you know, I had to, I was out of the match for a few of the minutes. And when you consider the match is only about 15 minutes long, it... It sucks, and in fact, you'll see, um, I think some of my team tries to back off and regroup and wait for me, um, but I was probably out for two, three minutes, and it happened to some others, and you'll you'll get to see that, but eventually they said, you know, we, we got to get back in there and get some kills because we're like a few kills down, so um, I eventually get back in the game and, and get back into it, but uh, it, I mean, it just shows you how fun and how intense the game is. Um, and even in five on five, and the game is meant for uh, 64 players with these massive battles, but even just with five first five, it was, it was fucking awesome. The Twitch guys were competitive, they knew what they were doing, and it was a really close type game. So check out the rest of the game, and then, uh, and then when you see the scores at the end, that's why the scores don't seem like they match up, because if you total up our kills, it's, it's not going to match up. Um, you know, because when you log back into the game and get back into the game, you'll see that uh, it resets your stats. So even at one point, I think uh, Total Biscuit himself even has a crash as well. Um, and I think by the end of it, we had three different um, uh, bugs where we crash. And by the end of it, I think it, it was three of our players, me, Total Biscuit, and Dan, which had all crashed out. And C. Nanners was the only one that, that didn't crash out. Um, and you'll see that reflected in our scores there towards the end. But even so, it was a close-ass match, and it was a ton of fun, and uh, I really cannot wait to play this game. It's like only $30, too, so I'm really excited uh, about it, and I uh, hope you guys join us. So I'll, I'll let you play out the rest of the match. Forget the same to so the Noble Duck team and the White Lion squads. Uh, they are actually in a very good position at this point. Um, and they're up by six points because they won the two rounds. They got three points. Um, just want to throw that out there so you guys are aware of what's going on. Uh, but in any case, though, this is a very important game here. And uh, it is very, very close as we have 21 to 24. And it seems like the Twitch TV staff are currently up by three kills at this time. Wow. And, and it was just a big, big battle of horses at this point. Everyone's trying to lance each other down. 
um, and, 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 and get that advantage. What do you yeah. think about all this, Gordon? Well, see, in a map like this uh, where you have these big open fields, I mean, it, it, that kind of strategy just comes naturally. Um, and... You know, so it makes sense why they're using this. Uh, and plus, you only have five versus five, so that's going to change the dynamics of how, what your strategy is going to be. Uh, when you, if you had a bunch of these guys running around horses, it, you know, it would be very easy yeah. when you have uh, 32 or 64 players uh, matches, and you, if you had a bunch of you know 32 guys all running around horses, you could just yeah. take a bunch yeah. of archers, and you would easily take them down. So I, I know some of the balance thing seems a little odd, but you know we got to remember that this is five versus five, and these, this game is really meant to be played with more players. But clearly, it can still be fun when you have the five v five. So you could all run around on your horses and have like this pretty, you know, pretty solid epic five v five, um, you know, lance battle on a uh, mounted horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is uh, pretty intense, I must say. As uh, we're trying to follow the action, we got one here. guy who actually switched up his strategy. Yeah, He's trying John, to hit right? the crossbow. <laughs> yeah, but see, that, that makes sense, though, because you can hit the horse, knock him down, right, and then just, you know, focus on him from there. So that's actually a pretty solid technique yep. that he's doing. Now, what are, you, what are you looking at here? What are you looking at from the Twitch TV guys to do in this situation, Gordon? I, I think what they need to do is try and avoid dying, <laughs> right? Cause, but I don't know even know if I have a good strategy because clearly I was wrong when I t so thought that the other team should stop using their horses because <laughs> they closed the gap pretty quickly and were even up by a point for a moment. So um, my best advice would be probably do the opposite of what I say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, you see there is John's loading his crossbow. Now go ahead and turn to John real quick if you don't mind, Gordon. Uh, because we were talking about this before, a lot of people in this chat right now are actually found fans of games like, uh, you know, Mountain Blade and, and Mountain Blade and all that stuff. Um, so uh, it, it's pretty cool to see uh, that uh, you know these same kind of uh, mechanics. Um, well, I shouldn't say the same kind of mechanics, but things that are you know that the hyper realism. That, uh, that atmosphere kind of translates and fans can really get into this uh, because you saw John reloading that. I, I think that's so cool. You know, you got to reload that crossbow. You need to make sure that you're in a decent cover so that this way you're not getting And we also have an down. animation for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that, it's really cool. I actually uh, I like that a lot. Um, and it's also a mini game too, as we talked about earlier, because you had said that, um, you know, you could basically reload and uh, play like this, like a skill-based game where you have to time everything out. And there you hear is Jericho just laughing his butt <laughs> off in the background. Um, <laughs> but uh, they're playing their game too. Their game is inconsequential. We want players that have skill to shine. I mean, a lot of, you see a lot of games, and sometimes I even hear uh, a lot of people when they talk about the games, they say, make comments like, you know, we want, you know, we want somebody to get in and be able to play it right away. And, you know, really, you know, understand it, da, da, da. that's great, and, you know, and, you know, that you should make an accessible game as far as, like, I understand what's happening around me. Yeah. But, I, you know, we want a game that, ha skill, if you play this game a lot, you practice, you have an advantage because you understand the mechanics of the game. A noob should not be able to come in there and wipe the floor with everyone. Uh, you know, and maybe that'll happen, but that would be, <laughs> that would be an exception to, and not the rule. And we really want players to be rewarded for skill. And so we're trying to bring skill back to multiplayer gaming. Because yeah. I would argue that it's kind of disappeared a little bit. I mean, there is still skill in all games. I mean, there are, you, But we really want to we want to show that. And it's going to be clear. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And, and you know, I, I did see someone in the chat kind of say that, you know, like I'm pointing out the obvious with the reloading mechanic. It's just because you got to be able to space yourself out. You need to be able to... To give yourself that that yeah, opportunity to, to reload, you, not down just to reloading out of nowhere. Seconds, and yeah, twenty nine thirty one. Yeah, and who's Twitch up right now? Up. Twitch is up right now. Twitch is up right now, and this is it. One kill separates these guys. As uh, you can see, some action going on over here. Fuzzy Otter Balls is going to get dropped as we're trying to follow the action here. Two to one. Oh, and there you go. Twitch TV wins. Twitch TV wins. And uh, I think with that said, they don't. There, there's no reason for them to play that second game, correct? <laughs> uh, because they are up. <laughs> uh, uh, I St don't know if the Twitch. It was the Twitch team, that, the one that was up. Yeah, yeah. Twitch oh. was up six points, and uh, the Red Herring Squad, which were the YouTubers, Total Biscuit, Angry Joe, C Niners, those guys. Uh, they were. But that was uh, really four. close. Yeah, I mean, it was. Both it was. both teams obviously clearly have a lot of skill. And yeah, they have, yeah, they, yeah. They're all really, really, really good gamers. 
So yeah, that was the match right there, and straight away, <laughs> me and, and TB were pissed. I mean, we get pretty competitive, and we were pissed that that, uh, that happened to us, and, the, and we got three different crashes um, while we were playing the game. So and, and especially to lose it like that, because it was so damn close by one freaking kill. So we needed every available man out there. Um, <clears throat> So, but that's just how it went down, and uh, sometimes it happens like that, especially on these uh, early alpha bills. But it was is so much fun. Uh, I wanted more and more and more. So I hope you guys join the beta. The, okay, you'll see. Here's the battle report, and you see if you look at the kills, you add up all of our kills. It doesn't even add up to what the 30 or the 31 that we add. Um, let's see, 11, 4, 8, 9, 10. Uh, let's see, 8, 9, 10, 11, see there's uh, 11 right there, and then there's another 11 right there, so that's 22 plus 2, you know, that's only 24 kills, and so, <clears throat> okay, you see, yeah, here's the battle report, and you'll notice that, uh, you know, uh, like some of, even Total Biscuit, you'll notice that uh, it's only 4 and 2 throughout the entire match, and me, it says 3 and 6, but it, that wasn't the case at all, it was because I had crashed out, and then when you get back in, you go back to 0, 0, 0 kills, 0 deaths, and you have to build from there, and so, um, and then plus, we were just getting our asses handed to us, because then, from that point on, uh, we were playing their game, and, you know, they were sort of, we were sort of feeding a little bit, where, um, because we were a man down, one of us kept going over there, and we kept going over there, and we'd get picked off one by one. Uh, it was only when we tried to stick back together uh, that we it, that it got very close again, and, and really, at the end there, we lost just by, by one kill. So that would have been awesome if we tied, but we lost by, by one kill there. I, uh, Gordon, you must know, I love appealing to the chat. <laughs> I always find it to be very, very I fun. love the chat. I mean, that's, that's yeah. the, those are the guys that will, um, you know, th that's... That's our consumers. Those are the guys who buy games, who love games, and that's why. So, a ton of fun, but I'll show you guys. We definitely make up for it the next match. But this next match, who can see what it's like when uh, TB, Angry Joe, and C. Nanners have no crashing problems, and we do move out in a group, so... Check this one out. This is the final match, even though this particular one didn't matter because technically they had already won because we needed to win both matches because of the round robin system. It, uh, it, was, it was still uh, taken very seriously <laughs> as we wanted to make up for, uh, for what had happened previously, and we were pissed community and that's how I got hired by DICE so it's definitely not a personal thing that I'm against but there's technical hurdles that you have to overcome of course this engine that we're developing on the tools for developing on this are very much in their infancy uh, so it makes it really hard to create a package and just distribute that but it okay. is something that we want to do in time Okay. okay. Um, and what was the other question? I missed one. Um, different game types, pretty Given much. Di different game types. So uh, the different game types that right now, we're just kind of starting off basic. Again, this is PC game. You know what we uh, what we launch with doesn't mean that that's what the game's going to end with. Uh, we're going to add uh, more stuff over time uh, and definitely do new content. But we're starting off with three game uh, with two game modes, which is going to be a conquest style game mode and the team deathmatch. Uh, then we have one that we're wrapping up uh, and we've been testing that we want to release uh, as soon after the game launches as possible. That's going to be a more of a, an objective based one. So it's kind of a siege style one where you'll push through a castle and mm -hmm. try and take the points and take control of the, of the, the castle. Okay, awesome, awesome. Right. And, uh, and uh, how many players can be supported in battle? The kingdom... 195 had asked that question. How many players can be supported in battle? We have uh, 64 players 64 up and running. Players. And that's another thing, again, back to being on PC and having uh, more flexibility in updating our game without paying enormous fines or fees. Um, what we're able to do is we're able to fix things, right, or add new stuff. So once we get our game, if, if we can get the game to run even even smoother and cleaner if we can take advantage of new hardware that comes out yeah. uh, and improve that experience then we will bump up the the player count but we will launch with 64 at least all right and uh we do have uh, the viper gamer wanted to know if you're able to pick gender will there be an option you can that? pick male male and that's all you can yeah pick. all right there are no females uh well also it doesn't you know work with the timeline no. as well correct um, so yeah, no, so I mean if we're if we're doing historically accurate, uh, very true to the you know these times, 
Now, if we're doing a fantasy game, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, you know, but, you know, we want to keep things accurate and believable, and, you know, and that's, uh, that's how we're sticking with it. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so let's see here. Uh, but then again, if there was a female, she probably did pre uh, pretend to be a male and hide any, you know, femininity under plate armor. So okay. if somebody wants to pretend that they're a woman, they absolutely can. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see here. Um, all right. So Oscuro1987 had actually wanted to know, and actually I, I, can, I can talk a little bit about this because he just mentioned it, um, about the cavalry, uh, about the horses, if I'm correct. Um, he had mentioned that earlier. Pretty much, you know, the, the whole thing is that, and let me just spawn in here just so that we can have something Kill going the on enemy. on the screen. Um, you know, they obviously see what's going on here. They see that the horses are, you know, pretty prominent and all that good stuff. So, you know, they, they are going to be looking at tweaks. I know Angry Joe and Total Biscuit made some great recommendations in regards to what should be done or what could be done to make it better. And uh, that's actually pretty awesome of them. Um, so they, we do have 10 seconds on the clock, as you see here. And, uh, and wow, I mean, the team of, uh, of YouTubers actually are just straight dominating at this point, if I'm correct. Let me go ahead and take a look at the scoreboard here. Yep, and uh, the Lancaster team, which is the uh, European, uh, excuse me, European, you hear me? I'm, 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 I'm a moron. The YouTubers. Uh, uh, well, let's see. What was the score here? Because I can't, I can't tell. Um, yeah, it seemed like the YouTubers had dominated on that game and completely handled the Twitch TV guys. They get a point, so it does turn out to be 7-5 uh, to five at this current time, and that is going to be that. So it uh, seems like we are going to have, uh, I'm going to see, uh, A-Spec, we're good? But ultimately, uh, we all decided to go ahead and just split the check just because of how everything worked out. So it was really awesome. We also had another uh, uh, ground battle, just no horses, just because, you know, we had all, everybody had just figured, let's just all use horses and lances because there's really no reason not to. It's one of the better uh, weapons in the game and stuff. So there might be some balancing uh, that they do with the lances, maybe fewer lances or, or the lances respawn um, shorter. Maybe it's just a one hit lance. Uh, we gave them a bunch of suggestions to help out. So, um, But we, we did an all land battle. So here's going to be a little bit of the uh, um, nothing but the foot troops. So you check that out. Ernest Lee in a fight here with Total Biscuit. Total Biscuit knowing what he's doing. Ernest Lee, though, he, he definitely does know the game, but Total Biscuit's too good as he's going to be making his way forward, though. Jared's going to come in with the save on Ernest Lee. Ernest Lee might heal himself. I don't think he is going to, though, as uh, Angry Joe with the support. Angry Joe and Total Biscuit know what they're doing in these types of games. They're very familiar with it, and I think Jared and Ernest Lee are an advantage, Gordon. Yeah, Total Biscuit, though, goes down. I, I need my words here. Jared, though, getting taken out by c with a with a, with a bow there. Fuzzy Autoball's taking out Dan Din. And uh, we do see that on the top right of your screen. Uh, shark in action with Ernest Lee. And here comes Angry Joe taking out Ernest Lee, closing that one out. The score is going to be 25 to 19. Pretty intense matchup here. As we have five minutes, 24 seconds left on the clock, anything can happen, and it's really only a, a six-kill difference. I, I can see a lot changing in the next few minutes. Now, just so I'm aware, the uh, team, uh, the, the 19, that's going to be uh, Red Herring. I'm correct, right, uh, Gordon? Yeah. Okay. And we are going to be following the Twitch guys, which are up currently at 25 kills. So they're looking pretty good here. Bear in mind, folks, that both teams had agreed to split the $5,000 check to their respective charities. So that's uh, pretty awesome. Like you said, Gordon, win-win. Exactly. Win-win, win-win. And, oh, Total Biscuit again to a fight here with Jared. As, oh, Jared's going to be wounded. Total Biscuit needs to uh, close out this one, but he is going to be in a world of hurt going up against Ernest Lee and John Carnage. Ernest Lee has that uh, pole arm. Oh, nice strike there by Ernest Lee, but uh, Total Biscuit was able to deflect it. Nice defense there by Clinical Brit. Beautiful work there. But uh, it seems like Shark's going to move in here with, the, with, with a few swipes. Not able to get anything. Total Biscuit's going to go down. Now it's going to be a 3v1. Shark needs to stay alive here, but it won't be enough as he is going to get dropped right away. So what do you think about all this infantry combat, Gordon? I think I'm, <laughs> I'm speechless. 
It's, uh, man, these guys really are, are way better than I expected them to be. Well, because they were uh, rushing they, everyone with lances. Yeah, they, I mean, this guy's pulled out, he's doing the spear. Spear is really, really a skilled uh, weapon. It's hard to use. Load. Let's see what's going on here with Fuzzy. As we do see two, oh, three people from Twitch TV staff pushing on forward here against Cena Anders. He might be able to get him. Angry Joe in a 1v1. Oh, 2v1 with John Carnage. Earnestly, Angry Joe's going to go down. Score's going to be 38 to 27. As Total Biscuit's going to make his way forward for that last. Oh, nice shot there by Total Biscuit with that. With that, uh, he just decapitated Ernest Lee. And John Carnage is going to go down here with this one. And I'm just getting in everyone's way at this time. I'm just going to join in the fun. Join in. Yeah. All right, folks. Twitch TV staff had won the infantry only battle. That was actually very fun to watch. Yeah, that was pretty Gordon. intense. Uh, Gordon Van Dyke, the senior producer for War of the Roses. Uh, first of all, here we got the, the winners. Uh, we had the YouTubers, I guess they were calling you, the Red Herrings. And then we had the Twitch team. Uh, so, uh, ba first of all, we want to thank everyone that helped us out. Alienware and Razer, they supplied the keyboards and mice. And then Alienware, of course, the computers. So we really appreciate them helping us out on that. Uh, and uh, here we have the, the big-ass the big check. Please don't actually go to the bank and try and cash this. this is for, I actually, like, always, like saw this happening and so I, I feel kind of special that I got to sign something like this. <laughs> so I know it's really retarded of me to uh, kind of had to get giddy about that but it's really cool. So the, as you know just in case somebody missed it uh, the teams went at it they battled. Twitch came out and won but it was super super close very intense battle but it, both teams decided to split and send half to their charity. So Paradox is going to give uh, 2500 uh, to one of the charities, which was Child's Play. And you are? Uh, my name is Ernest, and I work at Twitch TV. And this is? Angry Joe from the Angry Joe Show, and uh, we're putting our, our money to uh, the Red Cross. Red Cross, yeah, Red Cross. Red Cross. And this is? Total Biscuit. Himself. In the flesh. You're, t you're an American now, right? People keep telling me that, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. Welcome I'm, to the dark side. Uh, and, and it's a delicious, delicious dark side. <laughs> cool. Okay, well, uh, thanks everybody for tuning in and watching. We really appreciate the support. Uh, and thank you for crashing the beta sign-up site. It shows a lot of enthusiasm, and we're getting that worked on right now. Avenge We've actually, me! Yeah, and avenge <laughs> Angry Avenge Joe. me! I swear and on my blade. But watch out for these guys. Yeah, watch out for them. If you see them, run. <laughs> avenge me! <laughs> Hey, it was a, it was <laughs> the game ton of fun ton of fun yeah. I, I mean also a few, few balancing <laughs> issues like the yeah. lances I mean obviously horse <laughs> also be. horses what? are also where it's be. at yeah, right I now totally I had that. no experience <laughs> on foot everything's OP when you lose so take the check and run no that's right <laughs> I think we were going to go to Mexico and just live the life. With $5,000? <laughs> That'll last about a week. No, yeah. this will buy a lot of blood for yeah, people who need it. Yeah. I've always wanted yeah. a, a yeah. big check like this ever since uh, Billy, Billy Madison. Do we have to cut it? Do we, do we have to rip it in half? Do we have to rip it in half? I think, I think we'll let Twitch have it. All right. That seems fair. <laughs> cool. Cool. All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in.